Secret agent John Double O Fleming. DJs love having quirky names. Was the Double O thing obvious of having a surname like Fleming? Yeah, many people don't get it, but it's actually because of uh, Ian Fleming writes a Bond movie, so uh, Double O bit came from a. Uh, Ian Fleming bit, so... You describe your sound as Eurotrance. How would you define that exactly? Uh, I've always loved trance for years and years, but there wasn't anything powerful enough for me to play years back because it was just sort of, min sort of mellow trance and slow tempo trance. But now, especially over the last year, there's a lot more pumping stuff, more producers are making it. So I definitely like the Euro Edge trance. I call it Euro trance because most of the music comes from Germany and Belgium and Holland, but it's classy, there's like a lot of Euro cheesy stuff around, but I like the classy stuff, something we're feeling made by good producers. So. Your last compilation for Automatic Records was humorously called Licence to Thrill, and you chose every track on it. People don't realise I did that about six months ago, when you actually choose a track, so you've got to sort of look ahead and try to work out what's going to be big and what's not. And uh, I think I did a pretty good job, because that DJ in Seconds and Friends, that was just recently in the charts, it was sort of when the album was released, so... Yeah, it was good. How do you decide which records are make it and which don't? I don't know. I think you, you just have like a magic ear for it. And uh, I just I just sensed it was going to be big. And uh, sure enough, it happened. There was like two or three other ones on the album, which uh, also made it big. So You also recorded at Bond Age Records. Ah, as well. yes. I got the uh, second release coming out uh, at the end of April. It's called Where Did You Get Those Pills? So you've got to look out for that. Do you have to vary your sound depending on where you're playing? Yeah, a little bit. Um, in London, I can go really deep and underground, and I find uh, sort of more you play outside London. You've got to throw a few tunes in that they know. But but saying that, up in the Midlands and up north, I have been playing a lot, a lot deeper and a lot harder. So I'm getting away with it. I think I just got to try it a little bit more. But I love the deep, and my passions are like the deep hard stuff. So have you got any plans to uh, travel around anywhere else? Uh, it is. My diary is just full up for the rest of the year. I'm like all over the show, all over the world. So, yeah, it's going to be good fun this year. Because they love you in Canada, don't they? Yeah, I've got a really good following in Canada. I've done um, so well. I mean, everyone made just sort of went for the, uh, the Ibiza thing a few years back, and I went the opposite way. I went to Canada, and I'm glad I did it because I got a good name for myself there. So. How often do you go over? Uh, try not to go off and too, too much otherwise you know the buzz is not such an impact when you go over there so probably about four times a year I go there. Are you going to continue this bond three throughout your career? I think so yeah I mean I'm stuck with it now so everyone knows me for it so yeah I'm going to stick with it. But it seems to be working for you. It does yeah I don't know I'm not going to do the tuxedo bit or anything I'll just say as I am. Do you, get, do you get a load of bond girls following you around? No, no. I wish. Well, <laughs>